Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, it's 3.30 a.m. I am still in the witching hour. And, uh... I... Forgot that I bought a beer. Uh, I guess when I did that music video thingy for my sister. And I recently found it just sitting in the floor. And, uh, unopened and everything. And it was cold. So I drank it. And... As I started drinking, I started thinking, and the more I drank, the more I started thinking, obviously. Um, I know I do videos that are real, and when I say that, you know, I mean, I said this before, my videos are just about me bitching and complaining about my life. Well, for years now... I have wanted to do a paranormal documentary of a couple haunted historical locations in my town. Not for the, the fame or anything like that, just simply because, you know, I, I, I live in a small town and a lot of people, you know, from like Florida and all over the world, I guess, come to visit because of the scenery. And anyways, uh... I want to be able to help my town get, you know, some sort of notice in another way. And, uh, I did a, a video, uh, a while back, and I posted it in November. It was my first ever, uh, paranormal investigation where I just did a simple EVP session. And, uh, I got an answer... Well, I, I, I believe I got two answers, but anyways, um, I'll post the video in the description, you know, like I'll do a response kind of thing, but anyways, uh, for the longest time I've wanted to do said documentary, but, I mean, the fact that I live in a small town, there really isn't any jobs, and, uh, I'm not lying, I mean, I have quite a few friends, and I mean, just even random people that you meet in the gas station or grocery store, you know, like, they're having trouble themselves trying to find a job. And well, to be completely honest, I've been thinking about starting a bank, bank account along with uh, a PayPal account so uh, I can start receiving donations. And there's no way in hell that I could do this sober, and even with a 40 ounce, I'm a little buzzed. And, uh, I guess the Monster Energy drink sort of, you know, just adds to it. And, anyways, uh... I'm a very prideful person, and it, it kills me to ask for help. And, even though I do ask for help quite a bit, uh... I'm slowly dying inside. So, I want to be able to do something, you know, follow my dreams, and I want to be able to do something that I've always wanted to do simply to to prove to myself and others, you know, mainly myself, that no matter what, I did this, you know, at least I can say, look at what I've done. And the way I was thinking about the documentary, take a, a very unexperienced team, uh, give them a couple things of equipment and throw them into the field and film them uh, learning how to use said equipment and learning what feels right to them, you know, certain questions, or just the way they choose to investigate. And, uh, turn that into a documentary. And, uh, like I said, you know, I need donations and things like that. Um, I actually have a plan to get at least myself and hopefully four other teammates together to do an investigation close to where I live. Simply just with um, one of my uh, digital cameras, you know, just something that I normally just take pictures with, a flashlight and a digital recorder in hope to get EVPs. And uh, I can't promise that I'll get anything, obviously. I mean, sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. Uh, back in December, um, I was in the woods close to where I live, and... I happened to have a digital recorder with me, so I turned it on. And, you know, I was hoping to be able to contact someone that I lost who was extremely dear to me. And, uh, 
it's near a creek and everything, you know, the the creek is like a doorway, souls, things, kind of like that. And I got a EVP, um, I don't actually have a way to upload said EVP as of right now, but, um, hopefully here soon I'll be able to. And I have no idea what it says at all. I don't have software or the equipment to enhance the audio and or, you know, whatever. But in the video that I want to do, um, it'll be the starting point for the uh, donations. And as my subscribers, I would hope that even, you know, five, ten dollars, you know, be able to donate. I mean, that'll help extremely. Uh... The way my living situation is, I'll be completely honest with you guys, um, I live with my grandparents, I have since I was six months old, and, uh, my grandparents, they get disability money, obviously, and I get $20 a month, and my $20, it goes on, 15 of it goes towards tobacco and tubes. Uh tobacco uh, like this and a, a carton of empty tubes and five dollars normally goes towards a movie or you know an actual pack of smokes but uh, I figured I can I can miss quite a bit you know I mean if I want to do this documentary you know as bad as I claim to I can hopefully quit smoking that way you know I'll at least have twenty dollars a month to put in to the um, bank account for the documentary. So far, you know, just in in silver, I have saved up at least uh, almost eight or almost nine dollars. And I know it's fifty dollars to start a bank account, so I'm going to try and talk to my grandma and see if I can get a little more money, you know, allowance wise. So I can start said bank account and get a PayPal going and go from there. <clears throat> but uh, as of right now, the only way that I could actually ask for help is to be drunk. And I don't know if there's anybody from the paranormal society, well, not just society, but, you know, just in general, you know, the paranormal community that are what is watching this. You know, uh, even just subscriber-wise or just random people, any bit of money that you can spare... Uh, it would be greatly appreciated, and I'll do everything in my power to pay every penny back, if possible. But I feel like I'm ranting, and I feel like I'm not making any sense. So, while I still have some dignity, I am going to end this video and just say please help someone follow their dreams thank you for watching and uh have a good night